here we have a function and it's got a factor and it also tells me when I divide it by x minus 2 what the remainder is. So here's the function and when I divide it by this I get the remainder. Find the values of a and b. So what I need to do is I need to make x equal to 5 to begin with. So when I make x equal 5 I know if I substitute this 5 into this equation the answer is 0. That's because x minus 5 is a factor. So 5 squared is 25, so I've got 25 a's plus 5 b's plus 35, and that's going to give me 0. And that's my first um, equation. I'm actually going to have 2, I think. So the next one is, is x minus 2. So now I'm going to make x equal to 2, and I'm going to substitute that in. So I have... 2 squared, so it's going to give me 4a, plus 2b, plus 35, but this time it's going to give me 9, because the remainder is 9. Uh, if we tidy that one up, we have 4a plus 2b, we take 35 from both sides, we now have minus 26, and we can just keep this one almost as it is, I'm going to keep that as 25a, plus 5b is equal to minus 35. So it's very messy. That's a 5b and it's minus 35. Now what I'm going to do with that is rather than try and solve this using the simultaneous equation, if I can just get my quadratic equation solver on my calculator. So if I go into equation solver and I put in two unknowns, into my quadratic and I just type that in without even simplifying. So I've got 25, 5, minus 35, 4, 2 and minus 26 and we just solve it. So the first number which was a is 2 and b is 17. So a is 2 and b is minus 17. Now you can do that without a calculator, you can check that, that's no problem. Now the other factor now what I could do is now I know that my quadratic is 2x squared minus 17b, 17x rather, plus 35. What I could do is I could try and factorise that, but there's actually a much easier way than trying to factorise all of that because I've got one factor, which is x minus 5. And the other factor is, well, let's just call these, let's just say this is px plus q. Now, basically, these two are going to multiply together, x and px, to give me px squared. And the only x squared I've got is here, 2. This is 2x squared. So, therefore, I know that p equals 2. Similarly, this 5 is going to be multiplied by this number at the end. So, minus 5q and it gives me 35. So q is minus 7. So now I know the other factor is 2x minus 7. So very simple question to do if I remember about the remainder theorem making equal to 9, the factor theorem that equals 0, and then I just remember how to multiply at quadratics. You will see this is actually a, a straightforward quadratic one, but you need to apply these more to cubics. So have a look at some exam questions on cubics and factor and remainder theorem.